Hi, nice to see you. My name is Future Quarter, and today I'm going to help you enable just-in-time VM access using the Azure Security Center portal. Let's hop into the portal and get started. In order to use just-in-time VM access, we first have to make sure that we have Azure Defender for servers enabled on our subscription. By going to the Azure Defender pane under Cloud Security, I can view my Azure Defender coverage. And right now I already have Azure De Defender for servers enabled on my subscription. If this wasn't the case, I could click on the upgrade button and that will help me change my Azure Defender for servers coverage on the subscription. Outside of needing Azure Defender for servers, when it comes to permissions, both reader and security reader roles can view the JIT status and parameters. Now, to access the Just-in-Time VM Access page, I would click on Just-in-Time VM Access, which is underneath Advanced Protection. And clicking on that takes me to this page. Here I get some information about what is Just-in-Time VM Access and how does it work. And underneath that, I see some information on my virtual machines. And it's split up into three different tabs, configured, not configured and unsupported. First is the configure tab, which shows us VMs that have already been configured to support just-in-time VM access. And on this tab, we see the virtual machine name, the number of approved requests, the last access, date and time, connection details, and the last user. By clicking the checkbox next to the VM, I can request access. When I'm on this page, I would select the ports that I like to open for my virtual machine. In this case, port 3389 has been configured to allow just-in-time VM access. So here I would change my toggle to on, edit the allowed source IP range, enter a justification, and then open my port. The not configured tab is showing us VMs that don't have just-in-time enabled, but they can support the feature. And in this tab, I see my VM, my virtual machine name, my resource group, subscription name, severity, and the reason that it's listed here under the severity. It's recommended that you enable just-in-time for VMs that have a high or low severity, and JIT is not necessary for VMs that are listed here as healthy. In this case, I'll enable JIT on one of my test machines. And it brings me to this just-in-time VM access configuration page. And right underneath the title, I see the name of the virtual machine that I'm configuring just-in-time VM access for. Now, already on this page, Security Center has provided me with some recommended settings. And I can choose to select these default settings by clicking on Save. But if I want it to customize, I have a few options. First off, if I want to add a port, I can click on Add, and this window pops up. And from here, I would fill out the requested information and click OK. If I wanted to delete any of the recommended ports that Security Center has in place, I would click the three dots next to the port and click on Delete. And finally, I would save any of the changes that I've made. On the back end, when a user requests just-in-time access, Azure Security Center will ensure deny all inbound traffic rules exist on the selected ports in the network security group and Azure Firewall rules. If other rules already exist on those selected ports, then those rules will take priority over the new deny all inbound traffic rules. If we head back to the just-in-time VM access page, we still have the unsupported tab. And the unsupported tab is showing us VMs that don't have JIT enabled and they cannot support the feature. So this includes VMs that are missing a network security group, classic VMs, VMs that are stopped and VMs that don't have JIT policy turned on for their scope. 
And we even get some information about why our VMs are listed in this category. Right under virtual machine, we see that we have four VMs that are listed here because they're missing a network security group or Azure Firewall. While in the Security Center portal, another way to access JIT is by using the recommendations. So if I go back here to recommendations, the recommendations pane under general, I see my Azure Security Center recommendations. And underneath the secure management ports control, we have our just-in-time recommendation, which is management ports of virtual machines should be protected with just-in-time network access control. And under the actions column, we also see that this recommendation comes with a quick fix. Now on this page, we get some information about the recommendation, the remediation steps, which shows us how to implement the quick fix and also manually remediate the unhealthy resources. And right underneath that, we see the affected resources. To configure JIT on this page, I would simply select the VM that's listed as unhealthy, and I would click Remediate. And it takes me back to this just-in-time VM access configuration page that we looked at earlier before. And there you have it. That's how you enable just-in-time VM access using the Azure Security Center portal. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time.